Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Thomas DOTD, and today I'm going to do an in-depth review of a rare Lionel Thomas set that I bought secondhand. Now because this set was given to me, some bits and bobs are missing, but I thought it would be a great holiday video. So when you get the set, it comes in this big box and it looks really nice. It's covered in holiday designs, and you get a clear picture of what's included in the set without having to open the box. Now as you can see, all the important pieces are here. We got the locomotive, the two passenger cars, the transformer, the curved track pieces, and the straight track pieces. So let's take a look at the coaches first. We got Clarabelle with some nice designs on the sides. We've got Annie. And here's Thomas. The seller said that he was missing the hat, but that's okay because I have my own to put on him. Okay, with that out of the way, let's take a look at the details on these pieces. I want to first take a look at the passenger cars, as these are quite rare and are exclusive to this set. They've been discontinued for a couple years now. You can see on Annie and Clarabelle they have these festive wreaths and garland printed on the sides to give it that holiday look, and their roofs are covered in snow. Annie and Clarabelle's roofs also come off if you want to put details or passengers inside. I think I'm going to put lights inside these two. That will look so sharp on my layout. And here you are everyone, here's the Lionel O'Gage Thomas. Now this is an older style Thomas, it doesn't have any holiday decorating added on, which is a shame. It's basically just your standard Thomas the Tank Engine. Lionel eventually made a really decked out Christmas Thomas, which I have and can't wait to show you. But this model predates that new one, and is actually much heavier, and it just feels a lot more quality than the newer stuff. The paint looks much nicer, it's heavier, and overall feels like a train that will last a long time. His roof even has the old Wi-Fi signal printed on, but it's printed in a nice gold color. The face on this engine looks pretty good, but it's a little small. It does have moving eyes, however. All of the pieces have nice, sturdy metal operating couplers. Those are going to last for years. Next, we have the remote control. I really like this. It looks just like the Line Chief Thomas controller, but is decorated in snowflakes. Again, simple design changes such as these look really nice. It helps me separate it from the standard Lionel Thomas remote. Next thing I want to show is the instruction manual. This is important to read if this is your first train set. It tells you everything you need to know about setting up the track, plugging in the transformer, and how to use the remote control. It even shows how to put the different included faces on top of Thomas's smiling face, and that the Santa hat is removable. So let's move Thomas to the tracks and give him a run. When the transformer is plugged in, Thomas will begin making idle steam train sounds. I'm telling ya, I love the Lionel engines that make sound. It really brings so much life to a person's layout. Let's hear the different sounds this engine can make. You get a steam whistle, a bell, and an announcement from Sir Topham Hat. Okay, let's turn the dial on the remote control and give Thomas a run. Watching this engine run around the layout is so nice. Let's turn the lights off and turn the layout on so that it looks really cool. So I decided to put lights in Annie and Clarabelle after all. The sounds this engine can make are nice and loud. Even when the train is moving at a fast speed, you can still hear everything. So there you have it folks, that's the Lionel Thomas Holiday Set. Watching the train run around, I suppose I should give my thoughts. Well, I love the decorations on Annie and Clarabelle, but it's a shame that Thomas doesn't have anything besides a removable hat that makes him look unique. Had Lionel waited to release this set with their newer Christmas Thomas, I feel we would have gotten the best Thomas Christmas set on the market. 
Regardless, the set still gives off that wonderful holiday charm, and with sturdy metal couplers and a heavy-duty locomotive, this really feels like a quality set. I'm really happy this set was given to me, and it looks so nice on my Christmas layout. Thank you for watching everybody, if you liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to watch more reviews and videos. Happy Holidays everyone, this has been Thomas DOTD, and I hope to see you all again real soon.